Hello viewers, you are highly welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's tutorial today, we are going to be looking at what we have on this board. So, as you can see, you can see that this is the continuation of, you know, Roman numerals. And we are going to continue from where we start from our previous lesson. As I said in that video, I said uh, the next one is going to be this. And here we have today. So addition and subtraction of Roman numerals, that's what we are going to be doing. So you can see that we are having uh, operations in between. That is, when you are giving Roman numerals, there's a way you can actually what? You can still add or subtract them. And that's what we are going to be looking at today. I hope you have your writing materials with you over there. Okay, because I believe you will jot one or two things down. Don't forget that this class is for kids. The others also can benefit from it as a teacher. You are teaching your, you are teaching your you know, learners, mathematics. You can easily you know, get one or two things from here. So now, before that, consider subscribing if you have not subscribed to our, to our YouTube channel. Hit on the uh, subscribe button, hit on the bell icon so that you'll be able to be notified anytime we upload our new videos. Thank you. So let's get started and see what we are going to do. So addition and subtraction of Roman numerals. So let's get started. And this is very simple. So let's say you have this. XLVI plus XSV. This is very simple. But it is simple when you have mastered, you know, all the symbols of Roman numerals. That is, the symbol of Roman numerals that we have, ranging from I to what to M. Do you understand that? So, if you have known that, and also you have also, you have got to know all the properties we mentioned, pro subtractive properties, um, repetitive property, and additive property. All the three properties we mentioned in this. So when you have you know, understood, you know all this, you've mastered all this, so you will not have problem concerning Roman numerals or operation in Roman numerals. So let's get started. We have X L V I. Plus SSV. So what will happen? So the first thing you need to do is that we try to write this in Hindu Arabic numerals, that is our normal counting numbers. We have this, you write this out, you write this out. Now you want to look at this. Don't forget that XL, this XL is 40. If you don't forget from our previous lesson, then plus then we have V high. Sorry, let me do it this way. We have 40, okay, and this is 40, 40, and this VI is what is 6. So therefore, we are having what? 46. Are we getting it now? So now plus, so the second one is XXV. So this XX is what is 20, because X is 10 plus 10, we have 20, and V is what V is 5, we have 5. So now you can see that this is what this is 25. Are you following? So now don't forget that we are adding the two together. So now adding the two together, what are we going to have? So now 6 plus 5, that is going to be what? 11. We have what we write 1. So we keep 1 here. So 4 plus 2, we have 6 plus 1, we have 70. What? 71. So therefore, you want to write 71 back into what? Into Roman numerals. So 71. So now you now look at 71. How are you going to write? Some learners do mistake by writing 71 as V I I I. And this is totally wrong. Do you understand that? Don't forget that we have 70. So 70 there is what? When you take the place value of 7 here, you can see that the 7 here is 7 tenths, which is what? Which is 70. Do you understand now? So now if you want to write this one now, 7 is 70 is written as L S L is 50 plus 10 that is 60 plus another 10 that is 70 and you now have what you have in one therefore we have 71 as what as L X X I I believe you understand good so now let's go to the second one you can see this is addition so we we'll go to the second one which is subtraction so the same way the only thing or the only difference here is the operation that is the minus. So now, when you have this one, you can see C is 100 from 
our last uh, our previous uh, lesson. So C is what C is all right. We have X X plus X X is twenty. So we have twenty. Therefore, when you combine these two together, we are having one hundred and twenty. Now having one hundred twenty, so we do the same thing to this. You can see that we have minus here. X X is what X X is twenty. Twenty. Do you understand now? So therefore. 20 plus nothing, we don't have anything again, so we have what we have 20 here. I right, understand now. So the next thing is to add this or to subtract this together. Don't forget this what is subtraction from the question. So this will be 0. This will be what? This will be 0. 2 minus 2 will give us 0. Then 1 minus 0 because this place is nothing. Okay, 0. So 1 minus 0 the same thing as 1. Same thing as one. So therefore, we know that when we subtract 20 from 120, we are going to have what we are going to have 100. So now let's Take this back to what to Roman you know, numerals. So 100 is what is C. And that is what that is the solution to this. So lastly, we look at the third one and we call it what we call it today. Now, so the last question. So now let's look at this uh, question here. We have C M. C M X N minus C C C. Now when you look at this one here, I guess now this two is not what it's not hard. Do not be confused about the you know uh, the, the length of this. I guess now you can have something that's you know that is from here to this end. Do you understand now? So you think it's something that is you know very hard and it is not. So now from here, <coughs> C M. What is C? Don't forget that C is 100 and we have N, which is 1000. That is subtracted because we can see that this, uh, the smaller one is before the larger one. So therefore, this is 100 and this is 1000. We are going to remove 100 from 1000 and CM is going to go. CM is 900. We have 900 to the CM. Then plus XL. The same thing happened to this XL too. X is smaller than L and that is 40. We have 40. So 900 plus 40. So the entire base is what? The entire base is what is 940. Are you following? So now let's look at this CCC. So C is 100. This is also another 100, and this is also another 100. When you combine the three together, so we are going to have what? We are going to have 300. So we have 300 here. Then we are going to subtract because of the subtraction sign. So now if we want to do this. So what are we going to do? So now 0 minus 0, we have. 0, 4 minus 0, we have 4, 9 minus 3, we have what we have 6. So now you can see that we have what we have uh, the, you know, the value to be 640. Now from here, we now need to take this 640 back to what back to Roman numerals. So now from here, we have 640. So now 640. So we want to write 600. And 40, I think it's two together, so we are going to have. So now, how are we going to write it? 600 plus 40. Do you understand? So now look at what is 600. How, I, how, can, we, how can I write 600? And you have for, already, you've already been warned that you cannot, you know, repeat C. We will have said C, 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 C in six places that will give us this. So now look at the Roman numeral we have. Which one is very, is very close to 600? And the one that is very close to 600 is what? Is, um, Let's see, let's see. It's D, yes, D. So you can see that we have D to be what? D to be what? D to be 500. Do you understand now? Very close to what? Very close to 600. So now from there, we can have what? We can have 600 to be D, okay? C, because D is 500. C is 100. We have 600. And 40 is what is SL. So you can see that we have a solution. That is 640 is the solution, and we have this to be DC XL in Roman numerals. And that is the end of today's lecture. Okay, so if you find this class very interesting, hit on the subscribe button, hit on the bell icon so that you don't miss any of our classes. Do subscribe and so that you'll be able you know, to watch more of our amazing videos. Thank you for watching. Bye.